हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा प्रभु जी हरे कृष्णा माता जी थैंक यू फॉर बीइंग इन द कॉल सो वील डू द मंगलाचरण प्रेयर्स ओम ज्ञान तम तिमिरांधस्य ज्ञानांजन शलाकया चक्षुरुन्मील ये न तस्म श्री गुरव नम श्रीचैतन्यमनोभीष्ट स्थात ये नूतले स्वयं कदाम ददाती स्वदातिक वंदेहम श्रीगुर श्रीयुतपदकमल श्रीगुर वैष्णव सागरजाता सह गणरघुनाथन्ता सजीव साइत सवधूत पिजन सहित कृष्णचैतन्यदेव श्रीराधाकृष्णपादान सह गणलिता श्री विशाखाता हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधो दीनबंधो जगत्पते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरिप्रि वाछाकुभ्य कृपा सिंधुभ्य पति पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमः जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअद्वैत गदाधर शिवासादिगौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नमो विष्णुपादाय कृष्ण प्रेष्ठाय भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नामिने नमस्ते सारस्वती देव गौरवाणी प्रचारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चातिणे ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय भगवते वासुदेवाय नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नमो भगवते ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथोजय मुदीर ये नष्ट प्रायेशु अभद्रेशु नित्यं भागवत सेवया भगवती उत्तम श्लोके भक्तिर्भवती नैष्ठिकी कृष्णे स्वधाम उपगते धर्म ज्ञानादि सह कलौ नष्ट दृशाश पुराणाको धुनोदि सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ए वर्ड्स फ्रॉम श्रीमद भागवतम which is um the chapter is the passing away of bhishma deva and this is the ninth chapter in the first canto 14th verse so we would first um i would just read the verse and then you can repeat after me and then voluntarily there would be three recitations and then we'll continue our discussion sarvam kala kritam manye वायरीव घनावली मे तपालो यद्वशे लोको वायोरीव घनावली वन मोर टाइम सर्व काल कृत मे सर्व 
भवताम च यद्रियम तपालो यद्वशे लोको घनावली सपालो यद्वशे लोको कलाकृत मे सपालो यदे लोको वेयोरिवा घना विला थैंक यू प्रभु so as we were discussing um, this verse today from shrimad bhagavatam so this verse uh, is in the chapter of the passing of the chapter uh, title is the passing away of bhishma deva so it comes um, in the section of verses where bhishma deva is pacifying and encouraging the pandavas um in the verse number 12 he says that although you sons of dharma did not deserve to be alive under so many sufferings you were protected by the brahmanas dharma and achyuta and then in the 13th verse he says that kunti maharani or kunti has suffered greatly due to pandava pandu's death and having to raise young children she suffered even when they were growing up as because of your actions that's what um, and this particular verse actually tells in the 14th verse tells is everything happening due to the time and time is inevitable like then the question arise um, we would disc, disc when we would discuss we discuss there but i'm just giving a prelude to that so the question will arise that pandavas are the devotees of the lord do the karma principle also work for them they are always thinking about the lord so how it is applicable to them those questions will come so we'll answer and i would ask because we have the audience nice audience so they would think about what can be the answer of this so now we'll discuss now uh, synonyms here uh, sarvam here all this kalakritam so this kalakritam is there done by inevitable time manye i think according to uh, bhishma dev this this verse is spoken by bhishma dev भवताम च फॉर यू ऑल्सो वॉट एवर अप्रियम सो वॉट एवर वॉट एवर मीन यथ अप्रियम वॉट एवर यू हैव सीन अप्रिय थिंग्स हैपनिंग इन योर लाइफ पांडवर्स ही सेंग टू युधिष्ट महाराज ऑन ही इज ऑन द बेड ऑफ एरोज एंड देन युधिष्ट महाराज वेंट देयर टू गेट इंस्ट्रक्शंस फ्रॉम हिम अबाउट how he has to uh, go through the uh, because they are now they have already won the mahabharata war and after that they have gone to bhishma deva for the advice how to do it but yudhishthira maharaj was quite unhappy 
um, killing so many people and um, even though he also suffered a lot and Bhishma Dev is actually pacifying um, in, in some verses that we are um, that we are reading and this verse also is one of those verses Sapalaha with the rulers Yatvashe under the control of that time Lokaha everyone in this planet Vayoho the wind carries Eva as Ghanavalihi so Ghana means the clouds and Avali means the line of clouds so as the as the wind blows the clouds also move away with with the wind so it cannot stay in one place so with the effect of time that happens to the clouds so that example was given by Bhishma Deva to un, to make uh, make us understand or uh, or to Yudhishthira Maharaj to pacify him or to um, make him uh, feel a little better because he is empathizing with him so the translation goes like um, anybody can read the translation in my opinion this is all due to inevitable time under whose control everyone in every planet is carried just as the clouds are carried by the wind thank you Prabhuji so uh, now there is a the question I asked is that how come karma principle is working they, they have done something bad in their past lives that's why they are receiving this suffering or there is something else which is being emphasized here you have the answer in the translation itself so <laughs> we'll we'll discuss that further but let's read the purport now Hare Krishna Prabhu, I can read. Purport, there is control by time all over the place within the universe as there is control by time all over the planets. All the big gigantic planets including the sun are being controlled by the force of air as the clouds are carried by the force of air. Similarly, the inevitable kala or time controls even the action of the air and other elements. Everything, therefore, is controlled by the Supreme Kala, a forceful representative of the Lord within the material world. Thus, Yudhishthir should not be sorry for the inconceivable action of time. Everyone has to bear the actions and reactions of time as long as one is within the condition of the material world. Yudhishthir should not think that he had committed sins in his previous birth and is suffering the consequence. Even the most pious has to suffer the condition of material nature. But a pious man is faithful to the Lord, for he is guided by the bona fide Brahmana and Vaishnava following the religious principles. These three guiding principles should be the aim of life. One should not be disturbed by the tricks of eternal time. Even the great controller of the universe, Brahmaji, is also under the control of that time. Therefore, one should not grudge being thus controlled by time, despite being a true follower of religious principles. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. So now, whatever question I have put in is answered here in this purport. So, um, here it's it is saying that there is a control by time so uh, krishna says in bhagavad gita the, in in the 11th chapter that he is the time kaluasmi kulakshay so he says uh, in um, in the 11th chapter about it so but one thing is there like inevitable here uh, in this purport it is said that inevitable kala or time controls even the action of air and other elements everything in this material world why it is saying it is in material world do you think kala does not exist in the spiritual world forceful he says supreme kala a forceful representative of the lord within the material world do we have a concept of kala in the spiritual world that is a question. No, I think no. no. Why you think so? Because it is eternal world. Uh, with time, things changes, and 
uh, in spiritual world, everything is eternal. It does not deteriorate. Or change. Oh, yeah, that's a wonderful. Yeah. So that is our understanding also. There, the, the time principle uh, doesn't work, actually. Uh, and th that principle is not there. The Kala principle is more relevant to this material world. And everything is controlled by the inevitable time, as is mentioned. So, uh, Bhishma, Bhishma Dev told, uh, tells Yudhishthira Maharaj that he should not be sorry for the inconceivable actions, whatever suffering he has gotten through. He should not think that he has done some sinful activities in the previous life. That's why he has to suffer through the thing. Because they are very pious um, and also elevated devotees, exalted devotees of the Lord. So these things are happening just by, by the as a will of the Lord. Or you can say, because it's, it's the time factor which is doing it, which is nothing but a, 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 a manifestation of the Lord. So it is happening by the will of the Lord. It's not the karma principle. For us, the karma principle apply. But for these exalted personalities, it never applies. So that is what, um, so Bhishma Dev is uh, encouraging um, Yudhishthira Maharaj to not to lament on what has happened because this has happened due to the uh, inevitable time. And then Prabhupada says, what a pious man should be uh, doing he should be faithful to the Lord, for he is guided by a bona fide Brahman and following the religious principle, he says. These three guiding principles. One is to, fa to be faithful to the Lord and then to be, uh, to be guided by the bona fide Brahmana and Vaishnava, as well as the religious principles. So all those three things are here. So once, um, so once he is guided by a Brahman or Vaishnava, then he would definitely follow the religious principle. So the faithful faith is the Adho Shraddha principle. In the bhakti process, the first thing is to have that kind of faith. Faith is something, uh, having belief in something that we have never seen and we have never experienced. So that comes faith according to material calculations. Imagine that um, if we think about a spiritual um, understanding or spiritual entity that is the Supreme Lord, who is all encompassing, all um, powerful, which which we understand. If we have that faith in our heart, then um, there the next step is to find a, a person who is a bona fide Brahmana or Vaishnava because we don't know exactly which way to go. We need a guidance uh, from a Brahmana or Vaishnava, following and then follow the religious principles as per their instructions. So these should be the guiding principles and Bhishma Deva also tells the same thing to Yudhishthira Maharaj and he tells that one should not be disturbed by tricks of eternal time. So this would come and go. So this would be like um, uh, a kind of, you can say, like Shitoshana Dukha Sukha Dukha Da, like you would see, you see in the verse in Bhagavad Gita, it's like impermanent, like seasons, it come and go, like it will have, the cold will be there. The hotness would be there, all kinds of weather would be there, but it should go, one, one should not be disturbed by that. And how one could not be disturbed? If one is uh, going through these three guiding principles. Even the great controller of Brahmaji is not out of it. He is, he is also aging he is, and many things are happening in his life also. So that's why it is being told that it is a message for us that we should not grudge being thus controlled by time despite being a true follower of religious principles. We are not in that exalted state yet, but we are trying to be. So this is a kind of a message for us. So uh, what it tells, just to summarize, that it, due to inevitable time, things happen and everything happen. So uh, one should not um, have any grudge about how, why this is happening in my life or something. But definitely for our life, there is a karma principle which is also working, but still that is also in the jurisdiction of time in our case. So um, I'll keep it here and then um, go for any discussion points. If we have time, how much time we have? We have time. Yeah.
any any points of discussion any realization any question Hare Krishna Prabhu Hare Krishna Mataji mm. um, Are there any points I'm sure there are um, um, which one should keep in mind or follow uh, to keep that strong faith into the Lord when uh, we are suffering um, due to our past karmas? Oh, yeah, that's a very good question. Um, that um, it is like comes in uh, everyone's life. Uh, so the best thing is to practice it on a regular basis, like the sadhana that we do, the Vaidhi sadhana that we do on a daily basis. So if, when we do it on a daily basis, we get a habit of that. So once we are like having that habit, so even in very distressful conditions, that habit will uh, bring us back to that consciousness. So first to have that faith, uh, that is the first thing to have that faith first, and then doing some activities that increases that faith. Like it is like the Bhakti Lata Bij example that uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives in uh, Chaitanya Charita Amrita, that, that Bhakti Lata Bij should be there and it should be protected from uh, different uh, predators which can come and uh, affect means change that like for example our anarthas and all those things are those things which would impact that but we can actually nourish it but not only we have to protect it but we have to nourish it so the nourishing part is what is in, in our control that we can work on and um, like that we can do our sadhana with continuous um, dedication uh, without fail like for example like the way we we are doing everything like for example we are eating we are um, doing our regular activities same way if we make our life also uh, having these specific sadhana like for example chanting reading something about um, krishna's um, like scriptures krishna's pastimes or krishna's devotees pastime so that and then also having an association of devotees all the time because even though um, we may have these things, but association is so important that uh, that that it actually inflicts that feeling within us. So even if we have that practice, I think in a longer run, um, uh, this would be a, our second nature. And once it becomes our second nature, uh, any condition in our life uh, would not make us um, lose faith. That is my understanding. But maybe Ujjwala Mataji can add more things here or any other in uh, in the call can add more. Thank you, Prabhu. Thank you, Mataji. Prabhu, this uh, uh, statement about you, you, this should not think that he had committed sins in his previous birth and is suffering the consequences. So it, it, is this to just take because, uh, you know, he's a devotee and, and those, the, we're talking about, uh, you know, the effect of, of his, this thing is does not affect him because I, I'm wondering, you know, we in our world, we have all the effects of, of our karma, right? Definitely. And, and, and we should not think that uh, this would apply to us in a way, right? Uh, that, correct. This, this is not applying to us in a part because we are affected by karma principle. But if we go on the process of bhakti, at one point, this may all be mitigated, but we have to be patiently doing that. But this particular statement is given for Pandavas because um, it also says that there are reversal, reversal which, which may be caused by time. But how could time attack the Pandavas who are filled with Dasya, 
sakya and vatsalya for krishna so they would never get affected by that but still krishna has a plan for them and they have the, that krishna has a plan in the form of the time so the time is actually dictating all the things to them and they are doing it so definitely yeah this is not applicable for us but one thing we can take the message here that time is uh, same for us also and we have the karma principle working for us uh, so if we follow at the footsteps of the pandavas we can also um, get the mercy of the lord as they gotten mm -hmm. does that like satisfy yeah. Yeah, right. yes yeah because uh, what i was thinking is like you know because other, otherwise how would we think about this and you know if everything is affect you know irrespective if you did pious activities or other you know then what was the use of it if i would call it right then if i'm if i'm supposed to anyway suffer uh in this material world then all those activities may not uh you know how much it would have weightage of it if i would call it that is where that definitely that is a very wonderful point because when i was also reading i was thinking what is in it for me because they are for exalted vaishnavas and they they have this kind of thing they should not think about but one thing i i could um think about is everything is happening in uh, krishna's pl plan for everyone's life also even though uh, it is happening for them it's happening directly by the krishna's internal energy for us it is happening by by the external energy which is the karma principle but still it is happening by the will of the lord uh, if we if we understand that way sometimes we we don't understand that it is happening that way but i'm saying that the external principle is the external energy of the lord is controlling those three modes and with the three modes and the karma principle we are all affected but this uh, advice of bhishma dev to yudhishthir maharaj gives us an, a hope and inspiration that even though we are we are not as exalted as pandavas but doing their going through their footsteps having our faith uh, to the lord like for example prabhupad says here but a pious man is faithful having those three guiding principles will help us even though we are bound by the karma principles yeah that's a very wonderful point prabhuji thank you for bringing it up uh, yeah thank you prabhu so so we'll keep it here then so shila prabhupad ki jai अनंत कोटि वैष्णव वृंद की जय श्रीमद भागवतम की जय थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू